guys, it's Liz with Haunt Collective, and I'm here at the HauntCon 2018 show floor here at the Halloween and Party Expo, and I've got Scotty from Magic Wheelchair here. Okay, and so what is Magic Wheelchair? Magic Wheelchair is a nonprofit organization from Portland, Oregon area. Okay. Kaiser, Oregon, really. Um, about three and a half years old. It was started by Ryan Weimer, and he built for his kids okay. for like Halloween and things. And other families are like, whoa, I want one of those things. Mm -hmm. So it's grown from there. But we're a nonprofit that builds costumes for kids in wheelchairs. Okay, so that got that started there. And where has it grown to now? Well, it's international now. We, and we have a, we've done 50 builds this year. Okay. We did 40 the year before, I believe. And this next year, 2018, I hope we're going to do like 75. How does somebody get involved? Uh, you could go to magicwheelchair.org. Okay. And you know, just get in contact with us and tell us what it is that you'd like to do if you'd like to be involved in volunteering or helping. Sponsorships, donating, you can do it through there. Okay. All of that's helpful. If you're a child or a family member that would like to get a magic wheelchair, you can contact us through there and apply. So how did you get your, like, why did you join here? Like, what is your attachment to the company? Well, my, my wife type person, is okay she works for magic wheelchair okay the administrative side of things for the most part she's doing a convention in portland right now oh wow okay so she couldn't be here but uh yeah it's pretty much run by her and a few other people and uh she got that gig and i kind of like walked into it and uh -huh. she's been doing nonprofit stuff her whole life she's also in a chair and okay so it's kind of it makes sense yeah you know just giving back we're in that community yeah you know? So we understand how important it is to so be. So why, why is it important? Well, breaking down the barriers, you know, like making sure that it's like these kids, they're amazing on their own, you know, and they, they deserve to be treated like everyone else. Mm -hmm. And then they have this, you know, they get a magic wheelchair and it's like, oh, finally, they get treated like the superstar. They get to go out, well, they be the rock star for the day, yeah. and go trick or treating. They, inclusive cosplay is a big deal for us. Yes, you know, so like we don't just do Halloween; it's anything conventions. You want it for like some sort of event. Like we've done like things for parades. Like kids want to be like a float in a parade. It's okay. kind of a float. They're giant. Costumes. You're just essentially a, your own float. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. So you know, it's not limited to Halloween. Okay, so if it's not limited to Halloween, is it limited right now just to children? Yeah. Do you it see is. that it expanding? Is. I would hope so. Okay. I think it's going to take time. Sure. It's also going to take finances. Sure. We need to figure out. That's the biggest thing mm -hmm. because it's a nonprofit and, you know, we like everything's donations. Mm -hmm. So, but I was hoping to maybe one day like branch out. Sure. So people can find you at magicwheelchair.org. Correct. Is there any, any other way we can find you? Uh, Facebook. Okay. Instagram. Awesome. Twitter. All of the grams and the social media. Every social media outlet. Perfect. You could Google it. I'm sure. And then everything will come up. That's true. There's a lot of videos. Nice. Nice. So you can see what we really do. Yeah. It's, it's out there. Cool. And it keeps growing and getting bigger and better. And it's awesome.